In Penjack C lot, we break the body down into upper and lower art. The upper art, we do hand forms called jurus. The lower art, we do platforms called lankas. In the two systems of C lot I've trained in, we do 18 hand jurus, both in Sirak and Tonkai. In C lot Concepts, this two tape series, we're also going to be do dealing with jurus, but only one through six. Let me start with Juru 1. I'll do it on the right side, and you can follow along. Moving forward, I'll do Juru 1 on the left side. Let's take a look at Juru 1 step by step, piece by piece. Beginning position is what we call the CUDA position or CUDA stance. I'll go into more detail later with Addy demonstrating the purpose of this. This being our beginning position, you notice my base foot or back foot is off at about a 45 degree angle. The lead foot, or in this case the right foot, I'm a straight line direct up from my center as if I'm stepping on my own heel. To reverse that for the camera angle, this is our position and you can notice the lines here used as a reference point. Back to the power side, our CUDA position. This position will change based on our attitude we want to project and different training methods. Right now I'm using a quote benign approach to the Drew working on some detail but not necessarily attitude. That will change the structure. This is the beginning position, the CUDA. I'll tuck my chin a little bit. From here, the foot that's forward is the hand that's underneath or raising. This is a block we will demonstrate later on my partner, Addy. From here, I'm going out. My hands are up and raising. It's not just straight up. It's raising out and up at this diagonal. My left hand is being hit with my right wrist bone coming into here. I'm making what I call like a little circle. The circle is framing head, shoulders, perhaps just above the breast, the upper half of the upper arc, as you will. From this position, I'm stepping forward with my right foot. The lead foot is the one that's stepping. This is the blocking motion here. Notice the angles of the arms here. This is consistent in our approach to the basic structure. From here, driving up, here is the circle made, framing my upper part of my upper arm, hitting like a hammer fist right here. My right hand is into a hammer fist position hitting my left hand right into my center line. Note this position. These are reference points later in the performance of the techniques. Breaking it down, coup de position, stepping forward, lead foot, circle, hit. My left hand reaching out, turning ever so slightly here, giving a little, an angulation again of about 45 degrees of the palm, Center my palm, center here. From this position, my right hand is coming back, and some of you refer to it as a chamber position. This is arcing and coming around here, making an elliptical motion, using my thumb as a reference, against my face, driving down using my elbow point and or my ulna bone right to here. Let me break that down for you. Juru one, coup de position. Angle going up and at him, lead foot, circle, framing my upper half of my upper arc, reaching on, I'm torquing my body, creating more impact potential. Right hand is in motion the whole time. Pivot off the thumb, going right to my face. My body shifting counterclockwise. 
So I'm driving down the focal point right off my original center, even though I am turned. This point supported, clear motion, palm out, fingers together, turning into the fist, drawn back. This is what we call home. Once again, Kuda, instigate, hit, torque, rotate, elbow, support, home. Guarding block, or what we call the exchange, just eyebrow level with the fingers, coming back into here. Other side, my fingers, my left arm in the home position is parallel to the ground. I'm using my fingertips as a reference point here, almost as if I were feeling my own pulse. From here, I'm doing what we call a supported punch. I drive out. I'm hitting here with my left hand. It's, some of you may refer to this as a corkscrew type punch. At the same time, I'm hitting here. The ulna bone is rotated upward. Angle of the form is at a 45 here versus flat. As that's happening, I'm moving forward slightly with a little bit of that forward energy attitude, as it were. Then the key to this, right hand is pushing, supporting, and helping with impact potential by accelerating the left hand strike. From this position, driving here and back, reversing that process back to what we call the exchange and or guarding block, the hands move in unison to the other side, completing the sequence, right supported punch with corkscrew attitude and back home. Now I will go through it again without talking, you can see it slowly and precisely.